Hello and welcome to another Division 2 video. In this video I'm going to be taking a quick look at a few of the changes to the firing range we've seen in the TU-6 PTS. One of the first things you'll notice before entering the firing range is you can now scale the target by adjusting the difficulty just like you would in a mission. There are three options. Normal, a standard difficulty for trained division agents. Hard, a harder difficulty against more veteran enemies. And challenging, a challenge for agents of any level and skill power. The main body of the firing range is the same, but with a few new changes. On the right, you'll find two buttons. The button on the left is Damage Self. This may seem like an odd one, however it allows you to test builds with talents procced that require you to have no armour, such as Berserk. And the button on the right is Reset Skill Cooldown. This is ideal for testing skill builds in the firing range. Without having to worry about consistently waiting for your skills to cool down before redeploying them. These two buttons are going to make the firing range a lot more useful to testing a larger variety of builds. And I think a lot more players are going to take advantage of this. The area of effect or AOE hasn't changed. However, accuracy, DPS and range have had a few improvements. All three now have a number overhead. You can shoot this to select the distance you'd like the target to drop at. This is a great quality of life improvement for testing weapons with different damage drop-off ranges. As well as this, the DPS and range have also had new enemy types added to the rotation, as well as the usual normal, veteran, elite, and named. There's also invulnerable, a target that never goes down. This lets you test a variety of weapons on the same target, making it easier to compare numbers. Remembering that everything on the PTS is subject to change, I think these are great improvements. And I'm really looking forward to them going live in the main game. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.